Hello and welcome to uh, a new video on my YouTube channel. In this video, I'd like to discuss uh, an issue that I faced with automatically filling the account to a related record in the, in the contact entity. Uh, right now, we're using the contact entity and the account entity, but this issue will you will face this in any uh, lookup column with any entities. So it can also be applied to a, a custom entity. The problem that we're facing is that when you create a new record in the contact entity, for example, you can just manually add the related account record. But when we want to automate this in the flow, it gets a little bit more difficult. It doesn't really matter which trigger you use. You can use a automatically automatic trigger, for example, when a record is created in SharePoint. But for this example, we are using a manually trigger flow just to make things uh, clear for you. But you can use whatever trigger that you like. So for this example, we're just going to use a manual trigger. So the data that I want to add here is just the name of the contact and obviously the account name. And this is the column that we want to uh, connect and use uh, to automatically fill the account column, which we, autom which we manually add here. But in this scenario, we want to automatically pull it from, uh, from this data trigger. So the action that we want to have is add a new record to the, uh, to the contact entity. Add a new row. And the table name is the contact. So here it is in Dutch, so it's uh, a little bit different, but this is uh, the contact entity. So the name of our record will be, and again, if this is SharePoint, you will just have the dynamic content of the SharePoint row that you're pulling here. But right now we're having the, the data from the manual trigger. Uh, and what we'd love to have it is that we can just say um, the account entity that's related to this. So this is the lookup column, the account name. But unfortunately, this is not how, uh, how we're able to do it. So uh, it will be a, bit, a little bit more difficult than this. If you have any solutions easier than mine, I'd love to know. Please let it know in, uh, in the comments. Uh, but for now, we're going to discuss uh, this solution. So the first step we need to take for this solution is to list the rows. from the account table. And because we only want to have the record that it is about, we're going to filter and we're going to say name. So this is the, the logical name for the account name. So if you're using a, a different entity, please make sure to take a look at the primary name uh, or if you want to filter on an email, for example, it's possible as well, but we're filtering on the account name. So you're just taking a look at the logical name for this column and its name. And we're gonna pass this into our Power Automate flow. And then what we wanna say is the name equals the account name. So this way we're only pulling the account name and the information that this is about. So we're going to say name equals account name. For the next step, we're going to need the identifier for the, uh, for the account records. So we're going to take a look in the account entity. We're going to search for the ID. And once again, um, if you're using a different entity, just look at the ID for this entity and copy the logical name. So it's account ID. Then we're going back to our flow and we're going to add a new step where we say compose. And when we're 
going for compose, we're going to use the function first. This means we're pulling the first record that comes up with our filter query. And because of our filter query is only putting up one record because it's exactly our account name, that's the record we're going to get here. So we're going to get the first of our value data. And then we're going to add a little bit of code right here. And that's question mark, double score. And here we're going to pass our account ID. It's a little bit of a difficult way, but this will work. So that's what we're going to use. And we're going to hit OK. And it says invalid. And that's because we're going to add the Marcus. And I hope it works now. And it works. All right. So the last step that we need to do is make sure that this will work with pulling in the right lookup value. So this can be removed because this is never going to work. And for this, we need to peek the code from our previous step list rows. And we have to take the entity name. So for this, it is accounts. But if you're using a different entity, you can find the entity name here and we need to copy this. And we're going to pass it on the value where we need to add the account name and where it will be connected. We're going to put this accounts and then you're going to add the output of the compose action you, we've done earlier. And then this score. And then we're going to save our flow. And we're going to test our flow and we want to test this manually. So now we're going to pull in these values and we're going to do it manually. But if you're having an automatic flow, for example, based on the SharePoint list, this will be uh, uh, not necessary. It will be pulled from the, from the SharePoint list. So just to make sure we're using the right data, there's one account in our table and we're going to copy this. This doesn't really make any sense. Okay. And now we're going to run the flow and pray. And our prayers have been heard because the flow have run, has run successfully. And I will set up a pre app for this. And we're going to take a look and here it is. This is our record and you see that it automatically added the uh, related account name in the lookup column based on the data that we've provided. So if you think this was helpful or if you have any better way to resolve this issue, please let me know in the comments and um, feel free to reach out for any, uh, any questions or uh, queries.